Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. I've been doing a lot of research lately on sunscreen and how to better take care of my skin. If you ask anyone in my family, they always tell me I am like the sunscreen police. If I see anyone that's getting a little bit red or like something, even if I see like the slightest like shade of pink, I'm like, oh my God, you need sunscreen. Whip out my SPF 30 or higher and I'm like, put this on. Like my dad makes fun of me. My dad is like literally a sun worshiper. My dad can just like lay in the sun and uses like dry oil with SPF 4. No. I am very light skinned. I take after my mom. My dad has like very deep olive Italian skin and I'm like much pasty than him. I have always been really sunscreen SPF, like sunburn conscien conscience, conscious. I can never say that word. I was thinking to myself, how can I do a full face of makeup while still incorporating sunscreen? Now every day I do use my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer with sunscreen. This is SPF 30 in it. I worked out this morning, I showered, I washed my face, I exfoliated my face, and then I applied some of this. So that's all that's on my face right now. So I wear this every day. But the issue is, is that when I'm going to a wedding, I don't wanna wear my IT Cosmetics CC cream. I want something that's a little bit more full coverage and you can't reapply the CC cream. I mean, you can, but for me, I apply the CC cream then I go about all of my makeup. I do my concealer, my eyeshadow, mascara, blush. So I can't go back in with my CC cream to reapply the SPF. And reapplying your SPF is super, super important. You can't just put sunscreen on in the beginning of the day and hope that that sunscreen lasts you the entire day. So I did a lot of research and I came up with Kate Somerville Makeup Setting Spray with SPF 50. I also looked into the Super Goop one, but I went to Sephora and was testing out all their options. And the Super Goop one, if the spray hole gets any blockage in it, the super goop one comes out like in splatters and it's like very thick sunscreeny. So I feel like if you were to squirt that on your face, it would just leave like goops and it would totally ruin your makeup. This one is definitely more of a finer mist, which you guys will see in a little bit. So I just figured I'm getting ready for this barbecue. Let me just sit down. I'll do a quick summertime, like light beat makeup. I will go to my barbecue. I will vlog with you guys along the way and then we'll check in at the end of the day and see how many times I reapplied the makeup setting spray if it really held up if it ruined my makeup or not if I look super super greasy honestly going into this video I don't have really high hopes as to my makeup lasting a super super long time with this sunscreen I am very curious and I figured a lot of you out there are probably curious as well it's summer we all like to wear makeup hello that's what we talk about here on my channel we're gonna get into it I should have took my sunnies off my head I am ready to get glam for this barbecue I want to look cute put together, but most importantly, I want to be protected from the sun. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the Kate Somerville SPF Makeup Setting Mist Wear Test slash Review. To prime my face today, I'm gonna be using the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. I'm gonna take about two pumps of this, and I'm using this one because a lot of my primers are moisturizing and I don't wanna put too much moisture on my face because I am starting to break out. Honestly, the sun makes me break out and like all the SPF really does clog my pores. I love being outside. I'm such like an outdoorsy person. I live for the summer and like I live on the East Coast. So the three months out of the year that I get to spend in the warm sun, like I'm out there as much as I can. So I just use makeup to cover up these pimples, but this one on my chin is really, really hurting. Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Voluptuous Vanilla. I'm just gonna draw this on my skin. This is my summertime jam. Like I love this foundation. It gives like the perfect amount of coverage in my eyes. It's definitely light coverage, but it's breathable. It doesn't make my skin feel like it's suffocating in the heat. You guys all know I get hot very, very easily. You wanna look cute, but you don't wanna look like uncomfortably cute. Like you don't wanna wear that full coverage matte foundation and just look like you are sweating to death in the summer. You wanna look like naturally beautiful. I've been really enjoying this concealer. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Correcting Concealer. I'm in the shade Vanilla. I really, really like this. I'm actually gonna be doing a wear test on the Infallible line, so stay tuned for that. I'm just stamping this into my skin. This will definitely last longer if I use a damp beauty sponge, so I'm gonna go and dampen my sponge. I'll be right back. I'm just stamping out this concealer. What are your plans for the summer? Because I'm really interested 
Mike and I have a shore house this summer, so it's gonna be our first summer spending like the majority of it down the shore. I am so excited. This was our first weekend down the shore because it is unofficially the first weekend of summer. My aunt, my dad, and my mom came and spent the day with us. We had so much fun. I had the best time. My parents cooked like all this food, which was like so unnecessary, but so appreciated. I'm still eating it today. Set my under eyes with my Ofra banana powder. I'm gonna make sure there are no creases underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna look up. You definitely don't wanna set any creases. Otherwise they will literally be there all day. Lightly setting my face. And for me, I hate when I get oilier around my mouth. So I'm really gonna set that. And I'm just like pouncing the Ofra powder into my skin and around my nostrils. I am going to go ahead and contour my face. So I am just stamping out this contour with my brush. All right, so we got a little bit of a glow. I look a little bronze, which I like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this contour that we just did with a bronzer. So I'm gonna take my NARS bronzer on this Japanese brush because we're gonna be outside. We don't want like too much cream on our face because cream will move. I would not recommend SPF 50 if you are gonna be in like crazy photos. Like if you're a bridesmaid, I would not use this spray because SPF, there tends to be a lot of flashback with flash photography. I did a long wear video for special occasions during the summer. It does not take SPF into account, but if you're going to an event where there's gonna be a lot of pictures and you need your makeup to really stay in place and last for hours and hours and hours, I will link that video up here. Do be sure to check it out. I worked really hard on that video and I think that it came out really, really nicely. I showed you guys the routine that I typically do whenever it is I have like a summertime wedding or a summertime event where I'm gonna be in pictures and I anticipate needing to wear my makeup for a long time and having very minimal amount of time to touch it up. Therapy Botanicals Leachy and Gold Blush and just pat it over here. And I'm just gonna go over my nose like this, give that like sun-kissed look. Now I'm gonna throw on a little bit of shadow. I kinda wanna go for like a light glimmer. You guys get it. I'm going for a light look here. I don't need to keep reminding you. But this is the NARS Skin Deep Palette, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Great for every day. And also like if you want a little bit of oomph, it has really, really nice shimmers. So I'm just gonna take this shade right here, fluffy, flat-ish brush. This is a Mikasa E320. This has been like my favorite crease brush lately. Whisk this into the crease as I typically would. We're not doing anything crazy. I think I'm just gonna deepen the crease and then throw some shimmers on the lid. Windshield wiper motions. And then I like to do circular motions on the outer third to start like really making that corner a little bit darker because that's gonna give a cat eye effect. We're just doing like a basic smoky eye. I'm just, you know, making it a little bit more interesting and complicated than it needs to be. What is your current favorite eyeshadow palette? I would love to know. I am reviewing this BH Cosmetics one that is super cheap and the colors are so, so pretty for summer. They're just like blues and really shimmery. So what colors are you loving this season? What's your favorite eyeshadow palette? I think I'm gonna take this pink shimmer on my finger and just stamp that all over my lid. I feel like pink looks really cute with this outfit. So I feel like that's where we're going here. Well, I don't feel like I know because clearly I'm doing it. And I'm just stamping this all over the lid. Stamping and pressing. I just wanna go and deepen this outer third bit a little bit. So I'm gonna grab the darker brown on that same fluffy brush that we used before. I press it and push it towards like the inner corner of the lid, if that makes any sense. But I do keep it on the outer third of the eye. And then I'm just gonna whisk this into the crease, same thing on the other side, just deepening out that outer third, whisking, brows are on. I did curl my lashes as well using my Tweezerman lash curlers, but now I brought you guys back to show you the waterproof mascara that I'm gonna be using today. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. This is my favorite waterproof mascara. I really do like it and I thought waterproof would be best today because I'm gonna be spraying my face with not only a lot of setting mist but also SPF. So I feel like that can get a little bit messy. And I'm just gonna do the top of my lashes. I'm not gonna do the bottom lash line with mascara. 
the Anastasia Amrezi highlight. I'm just gonna hit this on the highest points of my cheeks. Now, usually I would go ahead and spray my face and then put highlighter on to make that highlighter pop, but because this is SPF, I feel like you gotta put the highlighter on first. Otherwise, it probably will get like all janky and like crusty. At least that's what I would think. Pencil brush, I'm gonna grab this highlighter on that and I'm gonna put this underneath the brow bone and I'm gonna connect it to that highlight just cause I like that effect. No matter what your eye shape is, I feel like it's always such a good idea to really give a little bit of pop there. It makes you look more awake. It brightens up your face. I think I'm just gonna do a quick little cute gloss. I've been really enjoying this gloss lately. I got this in my Ipsy bag. This is the Estate Lip Gloss in the shade Drip. This is pretty long lasting. Like this will stay on for an hour or so on my lips when I'm drinking, when I'm eating. If I'm not doing any of the above, I can get it to last like two or three hours. I'm gonna move all my makeup out of the way because I don't want the SPF to get in any of my eyeshadows or my blushes. So let me go ahead and just clean myself up really, really quick star of the show today. This is again the Kate Somerville Makeup Setting Spray with SPF 50. It's a soft focus makeup setting spray. Let's just read how to use it. I mean, I think it's like a setting spray. It should be pretty straightforward, but you never know. Shake well prior to use. Avoid spraying on or around eye area. Close mouth. Hold can 8 to 10 inches from face and spray in a clockwise motion. Do not apply in windy conditions. Use in a well-ventilated area. Well, it's definitely not windy in here. I can't say it's very well ventilated, but let's give it a shot. Shake it up and you can hear like it has a little ball in there to shake it all up. Oh, I think it's locked. Oh, I love that it locks. I forgot that it did that. Yeah, it's like a nice mist. All right, guys, I'm excited for this. So I'm gonna close my mouth. I'm gonna make sure I get my whole face. I'm gonna get my chest as well. First impressions. I love the spray. This is so much better than the Super Goop. The only thing is, is you can see some of the sunscreen got a little stuck around the little circle where it comes out. So I definitely want to be sure to wipe that off because if you don't and you leave it there and it gets crusty, it's gonna mess with the spray and shoot like bullets of sunscreen at you and that will definitely mess up your makeup. So I'm gonna take what's ever there and I'm gonna put it on my tattoo. We don't want to waste any SPF. I am definitely very shiny. I think it gave an instant glow. I definitely think that as the day goes on, this is not one of those setting spray that helps to mattify you. I think if anything, it's just going to make you look more dewy. So I think if you have oily skin, this is just going to make your oily skin a little bit more oily looking. I mean, I love a dewy look. I think this looks nice. Definitely interested to see how it wears. I gotta say so far though, I'm a really big fan. I do really, really enjoy this mist. And I think the makeup looks really good. I'm starving um, and I would like to get my drink on. So I will check in with you guys in a few hours. And until then, I hope you're having a good one. I've been wearing this for a half an hour. We are still not outside, but I did really want to check in because I was talking to Mike after I used the setting spray and did this makeup look and he was like, your skin looks really good. And I'm like, do you think too greasy? And he was like, no, you look glowy. My only concern is that a few hours in the sun, maybe even just like an hour, and I might look greasy. But he said I look really glowy, my skin looks really good. I also really like my makeup today. I feel like it's simple, but definitely heat friendly, and yeah, I really like it. My skin looks really good. I wanted to bring you guys in for a close up. The SPF spray didn't move my makeup. Everything stayed in place. I feel like it definitely set my makeup, but it's definitely dewier than your average setting spray. Someone got the drinks. All right, see you in a little bit. How long am I wearing this? What time is it? I don't have a time. Four o'clock. Four o'clock? What I put this Two on? hours. Yeah, two hours. I feel like it looks pretty good. I feel protected. I don't look red. No, it looks good. You don't look greasy either. And I don't look greasy either. Two hours in. So far, so good. I haven't reapplied yet, though. Maybe once I reapply, it'll be a different story, but we'll see. Reapply, it'll look greasy. I didn't reapply it yet. It'll probably look a little greasy, but it looks pretty good right now. No, what? this way. Do, do a little more. Do I look shiny? Oh, it tastes kind of good, actually. It sounds great. It smells really nice. Smell I don't me. know. I pressed, the, I pressed that red button. No. Okay, how many hours now? 
Eight, uh, six hours? Almost six. I reapplied once. I didn't really apply that much, but I feel like it looks really good. I think it held up good. I think my face doesn't look like greasy. No, no, no. We were outside like the whole time. I really like this stuff. And I put it on my chest too when I didn't get a sunburn. Mm -hmm. You're good on my side. Thanks. So, I don't know. I'm a fan. We're yeah. fans? I would, I, I would, yeah, I would recommend I it. I feel like my makeup looks good. It didn't like melt off. Yeah, no. And it was pretty warm out today. 81 right now on the clock on the car. Is it really? Yeah. It was like a nice like 81 though. Yeah, it wasn't humid. It wasn't like very humid. So I feel like, you know, if it was maybe like 95 degrees and disgusting, it may have been it may have been different, but I mean first day it did pretty well, so I'm a fan. Two okay. Thumbs up. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna go bike riding? Yeah. Alright, we'll Let's go bike riding and then we'll see what started. the face looks like after I sweat a little bit. Yeah, it sounds good. It'll be the last test. Yeah. Or will it? All right guys, so Mike and I just got back from a bike ride and before we went, I applied one more time. So I've applied this SPF makeup setting spray three times today um, and I got a little sweaty on the bike ride. So I just wanna show you a close up into the makeup. So I gotta say the base of my face looks really, really good. I'm smooth, nothing has settled in my fine lines, which I find shocking. The only thing that I will say is that my eyeshadow kind of creased i mean i was sweating i feel like i would get very very hot when i sweat i sweat from my head so i feel like my eyeshadow kind of moved you can see it's like creased a little bit but other than that like i gotta say the base of my face looks oh i have a cat hair in my mouth i am gonna take some flash photography and i'll put it up here for you guys this way you know what this looks like with flash photography Usually SPF does give a flashback. I'm gonna go take pictures after this, so I cannot comment, but you will see on the screen whether or not. So this is my final check-in. I have been wearing this Kate Somerville for the last eight hours. So we are really in it. We are deep in it. I am so, so, so excited that I bought this product. To be totally honest, I was really, really doubtful when I first got it. I thought it was going to come out goopy. I thought my face was going to be super oily. Um, I do have some points that I definitely want to make before closing out this video, but I did want to give you guys a close up. So I got to say my base. So like my foundation, my concealer, my blush, my bronzer, everything really stayed in place. I mean, definitely faded a little bit, but overall I cannot be mad at this. Like even my blush is still there. My highlights there. I do look a little bit shiny, but I definitely don't look greasy. I wouldn't say I look greasy. I definitely am like, you know, I think it's dewy. Dewy is definitely the right word. I did not touch on my face at all. So I used no powders, no nothing. The only thing that I did reapply was my lip gloss but other than that i just kept setting my face it definitely didn't make me hot that's one thing that i really really hate about sunscreens is i'm just like a hot sweaty person in general i know i tell you guys this like literally every single video and i'm sure you're really sick of hearing it people who run on hot like me we don't really like spf spf is not our friend it's like a moisturizer but it's like the thickest moisturizer you can think of and then it also clogs your pores so just a few points that i will make with this i would not beat your face and do like a full-on makeup look if you are just gonna like go to the beach and lay out because i really feel like your whole makeup will definitely melt today for instance was like 80 degrees it really wasn't that humid and i was in the sun i would say i was in direct sunlight for like maybe an hour but then other than that i was definitely in the shade i was at a barbecue i wanted to be comfortable i wasn't like there to go and lay out we had a tan so i feel like that definitely makes all the difference with this product i wouldn't put a ton of eye shadow on and then do like a wing like i don't think i would wear eyeliner with this if you do look up close you can see like my shadow has definitely moved and creased i'm a really big fan and i think that this would be great even if you don't want to put makeup on even if you just want to go to the beach and throw this in your bag and just spray yourself every hour or so it is really nice for first impressions and a wear test this definitely gets my stamp of approval i really really enjoyed this product so if you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it be sure to leave a thumbs up down below leave me some love in the comments let me know what do you think about this product do you own any spf setting sprays if you do which one let me know i'm very very curious and um yeah let me know if you enjoy this kind of wear test vlog style video i had a lot of fun doing it if you are not yet subscribed please be sure to do so i would love to have you and also be sure to click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is i'm uploading a video here on my channel i had a great time as always thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you in my next one bye finders mm.